Hello folks, welcome to the biomedical training video series. Today we're presenting the Alaris 8015 PC unit. In this video we'll cover the following topics. We'll look at the Alaris software, the task scripts for doing a PM, adding and removing tasks, downloading the error log, and viewing reports. So this is the 8015 which is otherwise known as the brain. We use the Alara system maintenance software to talk to the pump. It's a Windows based product. And there's a user manual that accompanies it as well. You'll need a serial cable to connect to the device from your PC. And this is the connection at the back of the pump. So this is the software starting up. And the main screen. So today we're going to be looking at the task group under preventive maintenance. So we'll look at performing preventive maintenance in the task group. So as you can see the task group consists of a number of subtasks which are run in sequence. And today we'll look at most of these, we'll skip a couple and just concentrate on the main ones. First the simultaneous display. So here we're just testing that the segments and the colours are OK on the display. You can see random errors occasionally pop up. Next we're looking at the IUI connectors. Now to do this test and to get it to pass you really need to have two pump modules, one on either side of the brain. Uh, the IUI connectors, there's a left and a right as you can see in this drawing. So that's how you ideally you should be testing the brain. But today I've only got the one pump module so you can see we get a fail there, but you get the general idea. You could have tested the other side. Do audible alarm. The keypad test is pretty straightforward. You just press each of the keys and the corresponding label goes green. If you double press a key it will turn red. So to do all of the keys would take quite a while I suppose but um, so I'm just going to do a few of them just so you get the general idea. So with the earth resistance you need to connect at the back and kind of scrape into those that aluminium plate to get a good ground. And we now set the all important PM reminder date for 12 months. This may or may not be enabled in your pump though.
Now we'll have a look at add and removing tasks. So you can see we've got a big long list of tasks to choose from. So we'll just pick one at random, battery runtime, add it. And you can see that it shows up in our task list. Before we can select it, we just need to reset. And we can select it and start the test. And so on. So it's pretty easy to edit these, to add and remove things. The software is a little bit clunky. It's not very intuitive. Um, you can get yourself mixed up a bit, but um, it's not too bad. When I look at downloading the error log and viewing the report, this is quite handy. This is just a section from the manual, so we're downloading an error log. But equally, you could have downloaded an event log, CQI, battery log, there's many others. So I've added a task list there to download the error log. So what we would do is run that task. And then once that's run, you then go into the View Reports tab. You select your device, either a brain or a pump. And you then run the report. So it's a kind of a two-step process. You download the error log first, and then you select the device and you create the report. Once you've got the report there, you can scroll through it and see the individual e entries, what they mean. Um, you can also save this and you can export it as a PDF, which would be quite useful for troubleshooting or for dealing with cu customer support. So again, just showing you the list of entries and so on. And this is an excerpt from the manual, just pointing to the various parts for exporting reports and so on. So it's quite a detailed section, quite useful. And remember, if, when you finish, to unplug your cable. Easy to leave and forget. <laughs> Not so good. And put the little cover back in as well. Hope you found the video useful and see you next time. Bye.